Welcome into Drew Daily Diamonds for Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024, day number two of Major League Baseball playoffs starting early here. Guys, let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. It helps out the, the algorithm. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up, 2.30 Eastern time, 11.30 a.m. Pacific on ABC. We are heading to Houston. It is the Detroit Tigers and the Houston Astros. Stroh's minus 165 home favorites, seven in the hook being the total. Detroit going with Tyler Holton as the slated starter. Hunter Brown for the Astros. Does look like Holton will just be the opener, though. The 28-year-old out of FSU is likely going to uh, uh, lead into Reese Olsen for the Tigers pitching staff. And he did not pitch more than four innings in any of his starts since being back from the I.L., and he didn't pitch very well either. Seven earned and nine innings, giving up a hit, an inning. Now, Hunter Brown on the other side, 26-year-old Detroit native, by the way. Since May 22nd, we talked about this during the regular season, guys. We were betting on him a bunch. He added a, a sinker to his arsenal, and he had 10 wins in that time frame, 2-3 ERA. He pitched really, really well, including a start against the Detroit Tigers, going seven full innings blanking them with a nine to zero strikeout to walk ratio so i know we lost on the strohs get going uh yesterday's show but i like him here in game two but instead of laying the 65 cents on the astros guys we get the better lineup overall they're down 1-0 i think they win the next two games i think this is a good entry point to get a nice plus price here houston astros plus 160 to win the series that is the bet for Detroit and Houston to start us off. Plus 160 to win the series on the Astros. 4.30 Eastern, 1.30 Pacific for our next matchup. Baltimore, Maryland for the Orioles hosting the Kansas City Royals. Seth Lugo on the hill for the Royals. Zach Eflin going for the O's. Orioles anywhere from minus 150 to as high as minus 165 home favorites. Seven in the hook being the total. Royals up 1-0. In the series, they won one to nothing just yesterday um, as the underdog. And now they got Lugo on the hill here. 16 and 9 for the year, 3 RA, 3 FIP. He did have a little bit of a rough start against the Baltimore uh, lineup, but that was way back in April. A little bit difficult to kind of handicap that. He's up against Zach Eflin here for the Orioles. He's the guy that got traded from the Rays during the season and actually faced the Kansas City Royals on July 4th, the 4th of July. He went five innings, getting knocked around for six runs, seven hits in that matchup. So not a great pass performance there. But even maybe more importantly for Eflin, he's a guy over the last two years that's thrown over 350 innings. He's thrown a bunch of pitches. And sure enough, when you look at his velocity metrics, they've, they've tilted down throughout the season. And he hasn't been as good of late. And that velocity's dropped like, two miles per hour over the course of the year. So I think he's getting a little bit of uh, you know, heavy right arm there. I think the Royals are the side here, guys. Big plus price to close them out in surprise fashion here. Royals plus 144 with the dog barking in Baltimore. Next one up, we're heading to Milwaukee. We're also heading to the night slate here, guys. 738 Eastern start time on ESPN. It's the New York Mets and the Milwaukee Brewers. Frankie Montez on the hill for the Brew Crew. Sean Manaya, the lefty, going for the Metropolitan. Seven in the hook being the total. This number anywhere from minus 110 on each side, plus 100. And pick them price at some shops as well. So I guess we can call it a pick them, but you can get plus 100, at least in the overnights here, guys. That I, I'm doing the show 10 p.m. Pacific time, and there is plus 100 on either side. Seven and a half being the total. The Mets up 1-0 in the series. High scoring game number one. Mets now up eight units on the season. Again, we talked about it yesterday. The Brewers, the most profitable team in baseball. Sidewise, I think it's tough. I mean, both pitchers have kind of a unique handicap here because Sean Manaya, his last time out against Milwaukee, three and two thirds, six runs, which is one strikeout and two walks. Not a great start. And a start before that against the Brewers. Five innings, four earned. So he doesn't have good pass performance here against the Brewers lineup. And it's the same thing with Montez, the starter here for the Brewers. His last time out was against the Mets. Keep in mind, these teams in the scheduled regular season, it was the last series of the regular season. Now, the Mets had to go down to Atlanta and play a doubleheader on Monday. But 
this is the last team that the Milwaukee Brewers played, and it was the last regular season scheduled series for the Mets. And sure enough, Montez, four innings, three walks against the Mets. Montez has given up 10 runs in his last two starts, only lasting six innings. Um, I, I think both lineups get after this, guys. I mean, when you go down the list here, it's pretty much every game is at seven or seven and a half as the total. And I know it's the playoffs, runs at a premium, but still, I mean, these these teams have played, what, four games? It, it, you know, pretty much the first game of the playoffs and then the three-game series, the last series um, of the regular season. And it's Milwaukee 18, Mets 17. I mean, these, these teams are scoring some runs here, guys. So seven and a hook, two questionable starters. Let's go up and over, seven and a half, Mets and Brewers. We got one game left here, guys. Do you want to give the recap? Yesterday, we were down one and three. We took the favorites. And only one of them winning. It was the Padres to save the day. It's kind of a rough start there. And then on Monday's uh, Monday's show, we split out two and two with the Monday night football and the uh, the baseball action. Getting that you know winner in game number two is a huge favorite. But hey, it is what it is. So uh, we lost ju- just a little bit of juice on Monday. We did have the down day yesterday, but uh, hey, bounce back form here for Wednesday's slate. Check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com, 5% play up and available for college football going on Thursday night. And we got the 4%er going Wednesday night. So guys, last game up, Southern California. It's the Atlanta Braves and the San Diego Padres. ESPN 2, 840 Eastern, 540 local time start. Max Fried going for the Bravos. Joe Musgrove going for the Friars. Minus 115, that is the Padres as the home favorite. Six and a half or seven, depending on where we're shopping, is the total. The Padres up 1-0 in the series. This is the Atlanta Braves' fourth game in three days, and they were a team that lost 13 units this season. Now, they do have Freed on the hill. He's up against the Padres, by the way, the team that drafted him. And his last time facing the Padres, he lasted only four innings, giving up nine hits. He's a guy with home road splits. He's given up 10 home runs when pitching on the road. Only three home runs when pitching at home. So I got some questions here with Freed, and he's up against Musgrove. Musgrove's been solid of late. Two earned runs in each of his last three starts, all going six-plus innings. And he hasn't faced the Atlanta Braves in more than two years. So, I, I, you know, not being able to see the pitcher you're facing, I do think favors the pitcher. And the Padres, the hottest team in baseball, 12 and 3, their last 15. They've been smacking it around. We just saw it yesterday. I think the 15 cents is short, guys. We're going with the Padres to close it out. Tough spot here with the Braves. That schedule, you know, makeup schedule at the end. I think it comes back to get them here. So listing every pitcher we're pitching on, uh, we're betting on, and that puts us on Joe Musgrove and the Padres minus 115 in recap. We're on the Mets and the Brewers over seven in the hook. We're on the Royals with Seth Lugo on the hill, plus 144 with the dog barking in Baltimore. And the Houston Astros, plus 160 to win the series over the Detroit Tigers. Guys, that's going to do it for the Wednesday show. We'll be back on Thursday talking some baseball, some football as well. Jam-packed show coming coming your way. So let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree, your picks, all is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. Enjoy your Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets.